the environment that had been so good for growth and, and technology, and let's say by extension for the US market relative to the EU, the UK, uh, and emerging markets, um, that environment is pro probably going through a bit of a regime switch that'll probably last for a while, right? Because inflation is up, growth is, is higher, even if it's coming down. Um, and monetary policy, as we were just discussing, monetary policy is, is pivoting to uh, address that inflation problem. So it's a, a rising yield, at least a rising interest rate, rising, probably rising yield kind of environment, which should be good for value and cyclicals and therefore better for UK, Europe, um, you know, relative to the very tech and growth heavy US. And we've been debating the market volatility a little bit this morning as some of the guests have weighed in and said uh, it's not necessarily the interest rate story. It could actually be the balance sheet and what the Fed has been indicating here. I mean, last time around, it could, took a couple of years to shrink that balance sheet, but uh, the Fed's been indicating it could happen within a matter of months this time round. Do you think some clarity on the balance sheet, if it comes from the Fed this week, would be uh, fairly welcome for market volatility? Well, of course, I think that depends on, on what kind of clarity it is. Um, look, I think, I think it's absolutely correct um, that it's not just going to be about interest rates this time. It's also going to be about the balance sheet. Um, as Powell himself said, you know, the balance sheet is far, far larger than it needs to be. And so I think the switch that's occurring there is that whereas the last time around, they went slowly on the balance sheet and the balance sheet was more or less sort of on autopilot and all the policy discretion was on rates, we might have a bit of a more mixed approach this time where it's about both rates and the balance sheet. And I think in particular, um, you know, this might be part of the effort to slow down the, the growth and inflation process because of course, a lot of households in the US are sitting on enormous cash piles uh, as well as record, still record uh, or probably close to record household net worth through equity prices. Um, and so, you know, the growth rate, the consumption process might be a little less interest rate sensitive than it, you know, quote unquote, normally would be. So you probably want to move both on interest rates and on the balance sheet. And you may want to be more sort of data dependent than for guidance based uh, in that respect. And that's, of course, why volatility is, is high and, and possibly likely to remain quite high. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.